غزه رغم 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 عمليات الانزال ما زالت متجهه الى Um, at 4.30 this morning, the Israeli Navy uh, attacked us. Uh, they, they, uh, they came out of their helicopters, and they came down the ladders on their helicopters. They got onto the deck of at least one boat, and we think now two, and they started to shoot. And uh, they were shooting at unarmed civilians who were taking 10,000 uh, 10, tons of supplies into Israel. Uh, they, they shot without any provocation and they, they have, and they shot in international waters. We were 70 miles off the coast of Israel. We, we've entered uh, Gaza, this was our ninth voyage, and we entered Gaza five times successfully in 2008. And, and we were not stopped because it's Israel that's the illegal entity in the area. They have no right to stop. or to stop us. They are the ones that occupy and they're the ones that put a blockade on a, a million and a half Palestinians. The last three voyages, we were brutally stopped. So we decided we would go with a flotilla and we, that's why we took the 10,000 tons. And I, I, it is, I think Israel is terrified that if, we, if this is successful, then a sea lane will be opened between Gaza and the world. And that is the last thing that Israel wants. We go into Gaza. We go from the international waters straight into the waters of Gaza. We don't ask Israel's permission. We don't acknowledge that it has the right to imprison a million and a half people. This is a civilian initiative because governments around the world won't do anything to help the Palestinians. It's, Ill, it's, Ill, it's Israel that is illegally occupying Gaza and not the other way around. So when we were attacked last night, we were attacked or I'm sorry, attacked this morning, we were attacked in international waters. We had done this successfully. We had already set a precedent that we were going to sail into Gaza without any permission from Israeli authorities. We don't have to ask Israeli authorities whether to go or not. And they brutally, brutally stopped us last night by murdering at least 10 of us and maybe even more. What should Italian government do to help your initiative? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I really shouldn't laugh, but you've got Berlusconi. I, I, I mean, that's like having Bush. What can they do? I don't think the Italian government will do anything, any more than the American government will do anything. This is a citizen's initiative. People who are reading what you're, what you're writing or are listening to what you are saying, we need to rise up and say, we are not going to allow this to happen any longer. Israel has occupied Palestine for 62 years. It has brutalized the Palestinians for 62 years, and nobody has done anything about this. And Israel is no longer has the right to do this to a people who had nothing to do with World War II. So we need to stop it. I don't count on governments. I'm an American. I never count on governments to do anything. This has to be done by the citizens of the world because governments have completely turned away from the Palestinians.